Well, I actually never used the word atheist in the end of faith. And I never thought to not use it. I, I simply didn't think of myself as an atheist. Uh, I didn't use the word, I mean, I, in the same way that I don't think of myself as a non-astrologer. You know, I don't, no one has to wake up in the morning and repudiate astrologer, uh, astrology by accepting the identity as a non-astrologer. Uh, and there's no one who, who you know, n virtually no one believes in Zeus, and we haven't defined ourselves in opposition to paganism. We're not non-pagans. Um, and I think it's also useful to point out that every devout Christian stands in the same relationship to Hinduism or to, to Islam as I do. I mean, the Christians look at what's going on in, in Muslim discourse. They look at the claim that the Quran is the perfect word of the creator of the universe, and they are not persuaded. And that's all, that's all my atheism consists of. I'm, I'm not persuaded by the, these patently ridiculous claims. And I am persuaded by the evidence that these people are part of a, a culture that is designed to uh, not look critically at its own discourse. Uh, and so Christians can see that of Islam. They can point out the errors of thinking there. They just don't point it out in Christianity. Um, so the, from my point of view, I, I don't think this is where I may differ from some of my colleagues. I, I don't think the word atheism ultimately is, is necessary or even useful, and I think it's actually, uh, in the end, harmful. Uh, because it, it, uh, the rejection of absurdity is much bigger than atheism. I mean, it, it is science. You know, it, reason is much bigger than atheism. And having standards of evidence and argument is much bigger than atheism. And that's all we need to repudiate most of what, peop what most people do most of the time in the name of, of religion. I mean, really, on my uh, account, relig religious faith is really the permission people give one another to believe things strongly without evidence. And we recognize that to be pathological in every other area of our lives. We just, we simply have been lulled into thinking that the game must change when you talk about meaning and values and morality and what happens after death. And I think that is, uh, we're paying the price for that in, in rather astonishing ways. Now you said a, a belief is a lever that once pulled, lever, lever that once pulled moves almost everything else in a person's life. It, so insofar as it's actually believed. Yeah. To yeah. I mean, there, there are, and this is, a, again, there, there's a difference between professing a belief and really believing what you profess. And, and, and we have to acknowledge that. I mean, the, the, the poll results that, that are almost all we have to go on are astonishing. The fact that 71% that of Americans believe Satan literally exists and, and leads people to sin. Uh, the, the, a similar number thinks Jesus is going to return physically uh, and um, rapture all the good people. The, the fact that it can't be that 71% really, really believe these things, uh, but some significant percentage do. And so the, but the distance between what people profess and what actually moves them moment to moment in their lives, um, we just have to acknowledge that it's there, and we're more concerned about the people who, who really are making decisions on the basis of a notion that prayer works, for instance. I mean, you take the, the, the current... Uh, uh, nominee for the vice presidency in uh, uh, the Republican ticket, Sarah Palin. You know, what, just what does she believe about the efficacy of prayer? Uh, it really matters. If she believes that it works on any level, that seems to me to be a bad thing when it comes time to decide when to go to war or not to go to war. Uh, and I think many, Ameri many, many Americans clearly believe that it works on some level. And, and we know a lot about the way they they cherry pick evidence uh, and the kinds of selection biases that allow them to, in their own lives and in reading the newspaper, come to believe that prayer is working. Um, but we know it doesn't work. You know, you know, Hurricane Katrina came in and wiped out uh, a community, 90% of whom believe in the power of prayer. And after this devastation, people were polled asking whether this only confirmed their belief in God. Uh, and 89% of people said their belief in God went up as a result. So it, 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 it's, a, um, it's a kind of credence uh, that is so elastic 
it, it's, it's, it, it, it will suffer any possible collision with reality uh, if we don't point these, these contradictions out. And that's, that's really the problem that worries me the most, is that even people who don't believe these things have been collaborating in this conspiracy to keep people living and speaking and reasoning as though all of these beliefs were justified. Um, and so we have atheist scientists keeping uh, religious people safe in their, their, their sanctum sanctorum of, of, of wishful thinking uh, because they think everyone else needs this stuff. You know, I, the atheist scientist, don't need this stuff. But these poor people, they've got nothing else. Most scientists actually espouse a view like that, whether or not they have any religious beliefs themselves. And it's, it's profoundly condescending and, and unimaginative. And it's actually uh, uh, coming at quite a cost to us, I think, culturally. So what about the issue of religious scientists, then? Well, it's one thing to, to acknowledge, and this is um, part of the power of cultural context is that it's a, almost uniquely an American problem. I mean, if you look at the if you look at the rates of belief among scientists in the U.S. versus the U.K., they're skewed by this basically the the American propensity uh, for religious belief to a, to a great degree. Uh, it's it's also worth pointing out that science, re even in America, really does knock down religious belief. Uh, considerably. I mean, we have 90% of people uh, believing in God in the general population and 40% of scientists. Um, and depending on what your scientific specialization is, it, it gets knocked down further. Uh, doctors, 60% of doctors uh, believe in, in God uh, of some form. Uh, and I think that's, it's not an accident that doctors are the most full of faith because the doctors are having to deal with, with people who are dying, who are confronting their mortality in the context of their own faith. And it's, it's, um, it's got to be easier in some way emotionally to meet them in that language game uh, in some way that's appro that seems appropriate to their uh, circumstance. And that's, you know, that, the burden is upon the secular reasonable person, uh, the atheist, to find a way of, of dealing with those moments, the, the, you know, the, a moment of, of uh, uh, someone dying in a hospital, say, uh, with, without uh, repudiating um, something that's actually necessary for us to, to uh, get through that in, in, in a way that is optimal for human well-being. And in my next book, I'm, I'm trying to bridge this, this divide between uh, facts and values, which uh, actually is, is related to the criticism of religion because it, it is the thing that is holding religion in place in this, in this society. The, the fact that it's, it is the, the issue that, that Dan Dennett runs into with his belief in belief bit. I mean, the fact that people think religion is necessary because it, it, there is no other source of meaning and morality and value. Um, and that is, that is clearly an illusion. Uh, uh, but it is an illusion that, that, that most people, uh, even most atheist scientists, it seems to me, d don't see. Um, I mean, the, many of the people who are studying morality at the level of the brain and human well-being at the level of the brain uh, still don't see that we are going to move into a period where science is going to be able to make scientific claims about good and evil and right and wrong. Um, if those words mean anything, they're going to mean something that, 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 that is uh, meaningful in the context of, of a scientific understanding of human well-being at the level of the brain. Um, and so we are, we are going to collide with popular opinion on the subject of morality and, and meaning in the same way that we've collided on the subject of evolution. Um, and so that's, that's what I've been thinking about recently.